to show everybody today that our new product, the Crank Power Supply. This thing is so cool we had to share it with everybody. What we're going to do here is show you how great this little guy works. This little unit here, lithium batteries in here, 1200 milliamps, 400 cranking amps of power in this thing. And it's going to start all of our toys here today. And we're going to do it a bunch of times until we kill this thing just to show you how many times you could actually save someone on the side of the road. Now what we've done today is we've taken the batteries right out of all these units just to show you that you know, as if you had a completely dead battery. Plug it in. We're just gonna hook the power directly to the bike, so there's no battery in this bike. Make sure the unit's on, it's attached. Now, normally you'd put it to your regular battery, but just like any kind of booster. And we'll give our MV a start here. We could start this thing over and over again, but we got some other toys to start here today. But let's just give it another start. So you're well on your way. You boosted your buddy. You boosted someone stranded. I haven't even put a dent in the power of this thing yet. Well, let's just go around and start some of our other toys today. Tyler Summers race bike from last year won the Canadian championship on it. Let's just say, battery's out of it, battery's dead. Maybe you're a racer and you want something to start your bike that's pretty light. But the main focus of this thing definitely is to get you uh, stranded from the side of the road. So, got it hooked up. Again, no battery in here. Start Tyler's bike. Bands come on, everything just looks if the regular battery was in there. Well, I'd like not to we'll stir it a couple more times. All the fans are on. That's okay, we got lots of power. We'll run the fan for a second even. Now we've boosted two things so far. Still all five lights are lit up on this guy. Let's start our rhino up here today, Tim. What do you think? Well, let's give it a try. Toys are getting bigger as we go along here. Directly again, no battery in the rhino. I just start. Our EFI rhino fires up. Give it another start, Tim. Uh, boost anything. So now our toys are going to get bigger. Let's start our PT Cruiser here, our, our Marin PT Cruiser. The battery's still in this guy, but as you can see here, fully disconnected. We're not going to use the battery whatsoever. So, get some good attachment there. Again, so now let's say you know a loved one, you want to make sure they're safe. This is a lithium battery pack, so it's not like those battery packs you're going to buy that have the big lead acid battery in them that you put in the trunk and they're dead after a month. This guy is lithium, so he's gonna last six months in your glove compartment. Give it a charge every six months, actually up to a year, but they say it's definitely safe six months is to charge it up. You just keep that in your glove compartment, you've got it. You don't need to worry about uh, calling CAA, you don't need to worry about having booster cables and finding somebody to boost you. All you gotta have is this yourself, because it's gonna be boosting right there. And Okay, start her up, Tim. You're on that side of the road, doesn't matter what you're driving. Start it two or three more times. Another great feature actually is that this great light on the side. Cancel today, but it's a really bright light, so great for at night. And then we'll flash it So, we still got four lights of our five, and we started a number of vehicles here already. Well, let's go to our good old Hummer. Size the battery in this thing. Big six liter.
down to one light. Mind, 
This thing's no bigger than myself.